most of the time students ask do you support free software and actually I don't expect more useful answers from it sure and sometimes they want to act like they actually cares about these things so they ask do you going to are you going to use it in real life so why not another ambiguous answer so but sometimes you will get an accident and answer. So this guy is actually a law student. Sometimes students just answer it due to their domain knowledge. So the answer, the answer is no. Why, um, how does like company like Microsoft Office makes money if we just all devote it to free software? And he tried to figure out the whole situation with his domain knowledge and then so he, since he never heard of free software before so he was shocked at this concept and sometimes instead students in my class has a great passion over uh, free software or enthusiasm so he tried to convince that the uh, the interviewer to um, use so free software but in on the other hand, or in my opinion, it, I think that it's quite similar to a guy trying to retrieve a relationship. It's just more like they are, he is asking, do you know, uh, do you know how uh, when, uh, Microsoft Office does cost money? Because so much companies are using illegal, or they, uh, they are using education copies, so they don't know the Microsoft Office actually do tax money. But Sometimes they just it, it just doesn't seem to work, and no matter in which both case, and work even harder doesn't grant you maybe more changes. So or maybe you just think that the two you are you, you two are talking in a different language. They just don't care about. Uh, free software, the spirit after free software. So sometimes the truth is cruel. They just don't want to. They just don't want to use it. Yes. So actually, they just get back to the free software. And actually, last year, uh, there's a college stop taking new Microsoft license. Instead of uh, instead, they took LibreOffice uh, as a substitute solution. And the governments do have a policy about pushing open document file formats. And the college camps that they are just following the policy. And however, a college student do post an article in response to the policy. So the article is about, are you seriously cut off all Microsoft Office license? Come on, I'm not joking. Using LibreOffice is instead of Microsoft Office, and I don't, I don't even heard of LibreOffice. So, some students are actually interested about this topic, so they ask their mid high school teachers for more answers. But somehow, teachers came up with the thought that free software is more difficult than uh, maybe commercial or maybe the official, official uh, normal use one. So, where does this so low stereotype come from? I still didn't understand why do people try to even their, ask their grandparents. But surprisingly, they do somehow point out some key questions. Uh, this is a grandparent that never heard of LibreOffice instead. Of, instead, he only was taught like Microsoft Office, the normal office we are using. And learning the new things in one side gives us more options to choose what we want to. But in another hand, we will become a burden for students if you still test students about their uh, ability to use free software. And also, uh, finally, this is the most important issue, price. It's always, uh, it always comes out so frequently. So what I'm trying to say is that the public has a totally diverse opinion to the CS field 
a fam familiar student after all so in order to in order to make students into a final project i want to know their uh, interest and we want to figure out what is their curious what, what is their curiosity uh, focus on so first a lot of students do mention about the security issue so since the source code is open and easy to assess um, it's easier for maybe for hackers to crackers to mess up with the source code and give a, a virus one and also some to worry about open source software damage current source market just as I mentioned before that's like making developer no interest of making new applications so or at least maybe just give a possible improvement solution on maybe user interface open source sometimes scares people away and people often mistake is a engineer of engineer only software but a uh, much to my uh, much to my surprise just surprisingly all topic mentioned uh, above is not uh, used by students they, are, they don't even care about what I mentioned they are more actually curious about Android and uh, like the mobile phone they use in, use in the in the daily life so this is actually one uh, one proposal they are going to in one proposal of the final project and another one is how to use blender which is very surprise for a six uh, computer science group of students and so it makes me start to think about is there a gap between users and de de developers so open source did benefit so much students to learn computer software computer science and like google summer of code it do it does offer many choice choices but for students they never never ever have heard of such events everywhere there is only a few students maybe less than 10 heard of or even goes to Google Summer of Code but for those who never heard of such events open source like open source beginners what what do the word open source mean to them at first five CS students are interested about the keyword open source as a result they want to study the code base of LibreOffice and trying to figure out how it works and finally they quit yes so they, they are complaining about the heavy code base and I, I do know that LibreOffice have some uh, also participate in Google Summer of Code but they don't know how to start with and they even trace the comments log and how, how, the, how does the new newest patch what is the newest patch to do but it's useless if you want to try trace a uh, uh, the structure of the whole code so what do open source the means to them and maybe even to the public but they just don't get me wrong for those who already knows free software and get used to it is a total another story it's just like two separate worlds with huge gap between each uh, each side. There is a small open source com student community talking in their own language. And you can uh, in this side you can see uh, like even ec economic affairs shows up in the booths in Sitcom. Encourage students to take up take part in open source projects. Still uh, economic. So open source is so famous in Taiwan but almost to the almost same group of people every year. And the ticket the, the the situation of ticket is get, get just getting 
it consumes very, very fast. So, so we try to uh, make a language that can communicate in both sides. So as a user, so maybe in the figure of speech, as a, as a user, it is al always a destination of why are you are using the software. So maybe it's your destination of the map. And maybe free software is like a bus that always can take, always as, uh, assess, always of easy access for the users. But maybe, maybe it just takes lower. And what is the commercial software? It's more like a car. It's may uh, costly, but if it was, it was, it was with the faster speed. And this is the solution we're trying to promote with without any con a concept of maybe open source and like maybe shareability because users are not going to take that. And so finally, ironic experience in, in when I was just trying to ask teachers about this uh, this topic. And when this this policy, ODF policy, actually took place on 2016. And the government decided that it, it should be fully implemented on 2016. So I went back to ask my elementary teacher about this, um, this policy. And I point out that half of the students on my class never heard of free software. And the teacher answers that, I don't know, I mean, I, the teacher says, Oh, I don't know what free software. I do. I do know what uh, what free software is, and it is very impressed me since that he is actually a president of uh, the uh, in charge of the teachers and uh, the event uh, the communication between teachers and students and maybe their parents. So they he has do a lot of administration paperwork in his daily life. So maybe it's natural for a. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, officials like her to get used to the ODF file, uh, ODF policy. So she j she just asked, just a help. He was astounded by the low amount. So I double, I just uh, as a double check, I just asked if she is in the same position as me. So I asked, can you tell me what the the, the definition of software, free software? He answered me that Microsoft Office. And I suddenly figure out, I suddenly came out that, I, I, I talked to her like, office software is not equal to free software. And I explained the trait of maybe open source and sure and somehow like that. And you, you will hear from free software promotion. And he finally answered this way. What's the difference? So he just kept, he just pushed me into maybe computer science. He just called me to, to interview another computer science. He don't, don't want to uh, in, involve with this one. So this is very, very frustrating for when I was interviewed, still teachers or students. So I, I'm not, get, I, I not get, getting any, any positive feedbacks. So uh, I just want to mention about the gap between users and developers. And it's hard for users to accept such an idea since like open source and sure. And this is my talk. I, I, I know it ends so quick, but I'm maybe a, a little bit nervous. So, but thank you for your listening. Yes. <laughs> and maybe any questions? <laughs> okay, thank you. Yes. I mean, I'm freedom. Freedom.